Give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise. To the most high creator of nature. Yeah. Our great spirit. To the mystic laws of the universe and its protective functions and forces in nature. Guide our thoughts and our body in ways that are lawful, correct, and positive. We do give thanks and praise. We do give thanks and praise. The laws of God. Yeah, it is interesting. We always talk about the laws. And as I man move forward, step by step on this journey for life, we have to give thanks reaching this point where I man can say the only law that is here in the earth is the law of God. Yeah, the law of the most high creator, the most high creator. Yeah. Why we said that? Because I'm on. After that, bring forward the basic logic as it manifests. When we're looking at the Bible, specifically the King James 1611 version, we're going to Exodus 20 and we say, wait a say, and God speak. Which is the archaic past tense of spoke. So that say, and God speaks. So we that say, command all these words, saying, it's our God talking to people. Yeah, man, because when you're going to Deuteronomy 5, you're going to hear Moses, I tell you, so him was the one who stand between the Mosai and the people. Where the fire is concerned. Brethren, bear with me. So, this is where the Ten Commandments, as they would say, derive from. You know, with us like the fact where we can look on an area and point it out clearly. So, this is what God said. And what God said, a law. Now, all other so-called laws are just that color of law, I people. I man did have to naturally walk the walk to make the item of seat, just like I can remember it and relive it, re-experience it, meaning again. So when we are talk about laws, one place for look. I would like for you the 1611 only because when the ones them are translated, them translated in a legal form. Because if you notice how the words are written, you see it says I and am is not. All caps are up on lower case. So it has a I am the Lord. Where you say I put creator and the Lord was there in all capital. Just like oh, it's right down here again is in all capital. Where anyone may say Lord, may have to put creator. Why? Because according to proper English grammar, when you say a word like this in all capital, usually it represents an office or a title. And if you look at the definition of Lord here, it going to mean somebody with authority. So it's okay for us to use creator as our interpolation right here. So I am the creator. Yeah, God. 
who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So watch me now. The only one who can free us. And even when I, who is the advocate of freedom, free dominion, free domain, we have to look to the creator, the source of our power. Yeah. Right, it's clearly I said where well, this book is a universal book. Most people burn the Bible, detest the Bible, them say all kind of man of evil against the Bible. So now a man such as I can come forward and smile as, you know, a righteous man. I say, watch, you know, this is one of the only documents in this modern time that can clearly express uh, God said. You know what I mean? I am the creator, your God, who brought you out of the house of bondage. So it's only the most I can truly set for free. This is why I say, I ain't about to look left or right. I just chant to the most army. You get me? Because this are my source, this are my power, this are my king, this are my God. Most I creator, not his creation. Everything for the most I create is there to enhance his glory. Everything, including the fallen, are uh, unbeknownst to most people, apparently, because the most are is so merciful. Even the fallen ones can attain mercy, truly. So it's going on. Again, different levels, you know? Different levels. Everybody not left on the same clean, same level. So as we go along, we are sharing the information step by step. So when we are talking about law out here, and we are saying, to the most high creator of nature, so the law that we are talking about here, any other law is secular. So the law where the British Empire imposed upon the earth is only statutory laws, and as such, It's just established as such. It is not, you know, law where the divine is concerned. So this is why we have the two, you know, say, system at play. Where the most I lay his foundation in our earth and lay down his law in the earth. And we can now safely say, adversarial force out there rearrange all of these things this is why you see you have a set of people advocate against the bible and find all kind of faults with the bible when it's all about you your level of comprehension your level of clarity can't allow I to interpret this thing for you when you are exist. You can only direct and share and shine light on the information. But it's always up to you, the individual, to stand up. It's always up to you, the man, to choose to be a man. It's always up to you to choose to rebut any and all presumptions or assumptions. You have to start object to anything that is ungodly, anything that is unlawful. So we are never outside of law, I people. I would not go talk about religion or Christianity and a death of my death, or you will find ancient literature but have similar you know, say expression. We are show you what is moral standards, ethical standards. 
that bring integrity to the man and to any society. Yeah, so when them say commandment keeper, we can stand up and say, yeah, uh, we have to choose now to separate, you know, uh, we are naturally set apart, uh, we are the only one where I say, I walk around here. Yeah, man, and that is a set apart. This is why I say, then we are try undermine me or discredit the work or the effort we will put forward. But by them doing that, them only can expose their, you know, say, corporate conspiracy. Yeah, basically that's what they're going to do. Uh, there is such a thing as the Bill of Rights here in Jamaica, the Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedoms. The charter is synonymous with contract. So irrespective of what they must say about constitution here or constitution there, we are only concerned with the binding contract, the binding obligation upon these public servants, these public trustees. So the Charter of Fundamental Rights Constitutional Amendment in 2011 that specific document is where we can point to specifically when we choose to renounce it and remove ourselves from the political body politic. That's the attain in our political freedom where we are not interested in the corporate body politic. So the moment we become cognizant of God's law, that's always been here. And God's word, that's always been here. Then we have to put aside where man I bring forward. We don't even have to look at the statutory or legal regulations where them prescribe unto Israel, because Israel is a rebellious nation always been and will always be but you always have righteous within that midst where stand apart yeah where set the standards yeah where shine the light yeah the ones them will say i am not afraid uh, my freedom is not about attaining any kind of you know, isolation or building any kind of cave or prison for myself. No, my freedom is freedom from the foreign political body politic. Freedom from that well, that's a adversarial construct. Because to involve in politics is to the adverse to each other. That's what politics is. Poly, many, tricks. Poly, many, ticks. What are ticks? Nothing nice. Nothing good. So when we talk about what is law, you, you must have said, oh, you have to have the Ten Commandments. Uh, God spoke those words. Salute can drop out the drop nation. Yeah, man. Salute. Yeah, man. So this are uh, the covenant for God's people. And I necessarily have forgot to it I'm give, given the basic, you know, context of where we are dealing with. When we are said the most high creator of nature, see it, yeah? We now talk about, you know, when a body else are dealing with. 
So a man such as I, I can say, boy, you know. This are the level. You talk about legal instrument and document. See it right here. You talk about law for supreme. See it right here. Because a supreme being God. I said them thing I bring forward moral and ethical standard. We make we as man can stand up righteous in the earth with integrity and maintain our dignity. So we're not lawless. We're not outside the law. In fact, we are what them call the commandment keepers. We're not necessarily as the ten from no, we are the commandment keepers. After which one of them we are keep. <laughs> yeah, man. And then even this are the old testament. So them are gonna say, oh, this are what? Old law. No man, this are God's word. However, we can acknowledge that. The Christ stepped forward in the earth, directing the people again of the earth to the Creator. And even the Christ come and say, Watch ya, even them laws that uh, tune us a rebellious when Moses did have to instill. And when we say laws, we are talking legal regulations when Moses instill with all of these other things. We now talk about we gotta you know, speak. Now talk about when talk said, when command out time out. We are talk about when Moses put together, even when it was divinely inspired. Once you have all God's law, no other law not really relevant, but so we couldn't hold God's law, then Christ would have to pass through now. And I said, watch it, the law of love. You know, is where I bring forward. To fulfill all these other laws. I must say, when you can follow the golden rule, which is do no harm, and then you can love your neighbor as yourself, or do unto others as you will have them do unto you. And even when him say, turn the other cheek, this are the level of love. Where I must say, if you can reach a level for a man, disrespect you, violate you, hurt you, and all kind of thing, and then you can say, your child, see next week, you continue doing it. Uh, watch ya, forgive you. Know. You just go one side and take my data. Then the more side, them would have said, you know, at a level that transcend all of the law. So you see how hard that is, quite hard for you. Yet a man put you to basically hell. And then you're going to turn around and say, all right. You know what I mean? So that's the thing that people. So we just there as usual, as share information. And as we go along, we don't have no problem. I say, watch the levels, pay attention. When we are talk about law, divine law, we are talk about if God not said, we don't want to hear it. How would that sound? Yeah. And the ten rules of these things. Even the other day, me I talked to my first lady, my life partner. And I said, baby, at all the time, me I said, you know, we need to get some fellowship. We have to start go somewhere. Go in. We need to go in one of them church then. You know what I mean? And then the other day, you know, I say, you know, we need to hold the Sabbath and thing like, you know, because why man grew up as an Adventist? So them things they in our bloodline. However, we don't really practice fanatically. But as we go forward, we have to go really sanctify that day for no. So watch your reverence, you know, we don't have to go on like fanatic, but we truly have to have a fellowship, then a reverence, them kind of day, yeah. Set myself apart from the rest of ones them out there. We are doing for them one thing. And them thing here, free will exercise, free will choice. We just have share the information and I say, look, God speak all these words saying, I am the Lord, which means I am the creator, your God. Yeah, man, who brought you out the house of bondage. So right now, Ask yourself, 
Why are you being represented by people that is inside the House of Representatives? Are you not aware you are in the House of Bondage? This is why I'm drawing and I'm quoting. God, I'm assume and I presume that I am their slave. And I'm not talk my people and per se, because never a white man take for my care and violate my inherent dignity as a man. It was a very black looking coloring book. Senior Sergeant of Police. Yeah, he was an American Indian, in fact. Truth. He was an Awak Indian, but he totally is unaware of who he is. Most of our island people are try to identify with maroon. And when you get to the etymology of maroon, it only means an escape spaniel. That's what a maroon is. Go do the research, people. Don't take my word for it. Remember, you know, all nations take counsel together against the Most High Creator and against His anointed, against His people. All nations conspire against us, my people. Look around you. Look around you. The moment you become cognizant that you are the American Indian here, you are the Awa Indian in this hemisphere, then you're going to realize that, uh, oops, all these other people are foreigners here. And why are they here? What's their point of origin? What's their ancestral origin? Where them start? What's their point, starting point? These are the questions we have to start asking. However, people will say, all right, that is in the past. Let's ignore it and move forward. And just say, to God be the glory. And let the most I sort it out. Who make you do that? However, it now remove the truth that we were invaded here. And we are still being oppressed. In fact, we are prisoners of war because our head of state is being represented by a governor general's office, with, which is a military designation. And that so called crown is somewhere in Europe, somewhere. In fact, I think it's by the Templars Church over there in England. So when we are look and say, hey, the monarchy, something else is going on, my people. However, it's a step-by-step -step journey. Listen, Exodus 20 will show you what the law is there. Like what God said. Not what me say or when the next guy I say. Them say a God say so a man need to challenge that. So any other law where a man bring come forward, we can put fire to it. Yeah man. And look at those people as adversaries of the most high. Uh, for them policies, legal standards, established as law. Yeah, says in conflict with the most high creator of nature. Simple. The state as it is a purport themselves to be God when they are not. And this is why, you know, as we move forward, we'll just share the basic information. In God be the glory. So when you want to know my mean or what, what, which God I no, there's only one God, truly. Just like how there's only one power. So all of the forces out there are just that, forces. Some of it is just dark forces out there. But the truth is, there's only one power. There's only one God.
and there is only one law that govern humanity and govern the earth. Everything else, as some alien people have come with them, you know, foreign mess in order to enslave us who are the righteous. That's what it is. Don't take my word for it, my people. Don't take my word for it. Just do your own search. Again, complete gratitude for the organic subscribers. Yeah. The truth of manifest, manifest itself in the earth naturally. And the righteous alone are going to really can govern this place. And the badness are going to do it. And watch me now. Only because the most high is a great, powerful, and merciful. We have also a bestowed mercy out there. So the man them we are, you know, unalive the woman them out there need for just check themselves. It's that simple. Them things that are necessary. Now me have, have all kind of concern about my daughters because I have three beautiful daughters where it's exceptional out there. So I have to try to screen the ones them where they have to choose. Yo, we have to clean it up now. We have to get rid of the superficial car. If you truly did have any love for that woman, anything we should do, you have to just respect her and let her go. Only because you truly love her. But because it was always loss, they find it easy to remove her from this existence. Whoever it is and whatever it is, this is just a general statement. Watch me now, people. Choose the most I create of nature. Yeah, man. And all things what you need will add it after. Naturally. And that's the true contract there. That's the true covenant there. And this is why them fight the information what the Bible brings. Because the Bible tell you who are the enemy. It tell you who are the synagogue of Satan. It tell you about them demonic ones. They tell you about the demonic entities. When you want to know about them, Wizardry, you're going to Enoch, the book of Enoch, I'm going to tell you about who are the fallen angel when Satan himself did fall and then some Zazai did fall and all of these ones is there. So the whole world shook. God, they removed themselves from the creative source, the true power. Yeah, and I worship the creation. Yeah. With a lot of the fallen ones. So I'm on now on going at error. I rather take my time and say to the most I create of nature. Be the glory. Watch me now. I can only hear this power in spirit and truth. Yeah. I not have the capacity to even try to conceive of this power. Is but that's no say when I breathe, it's there. Yeah, man. When I look, it's everywhere. This is why I said that the mystic laws of the universe and its protective functions and forces in nature that guide our thoughts and our path in all ways that are lawful, divine law, correct and positive. I have born. We are organized conspiratorial construct. I have born. Yeah, man. We have some work to do. God, the court is on the 22nd of September. So, I have to show me. Witness verification, acknowledging the facts. Say, so, yeah, this are you, and this is me, and this is what it is, and we're going to see how it goes. So, I'm going to say, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that, you know. I'm going to say, you're not God, 
you know, have no authority. And I man already do the work to say what you are. I'm not a part of your corporate body politics, politically. You understand? Outside of that scope. So your agents from your agency absolutely not have no authority. That's all I'm saying. That no mean we are criminal. That no mean we are breaking the laws. You get me? Specifically and especially when you can present a crime. Or the element of crime is you have to have a victim. Where is the victim? Where is the corpus delecti for you are carrying in a criminal proceeding? And accuse me of a crime, criminal offence. On what grounds? On which law? By whose authority? Unless you know God Almighty. This is why the place I got erupt. For you now go violate the righteous and continue and continue and continue. Look out there in a so place stay now. See, all when the demon them attack me the other day, we just give thanks and wolf for him and chant. And right now, there is no issue. Because I'm quite sure people are comprehend, sir. I work up, you know. And then I'm not with that over the say, yes, sir. That is how it's supposed to be. I could do the right thing, man. And if we can't do the right thing, that's not enough, not all, man. I'm about to add to the problem with the other. I know I'm be the source of nobody's hurt or nobody's disappointment. I know I'm be the source of it. This is why you still hear me. I want to sue the police and put no eye. I don't mind I embarrass them, make them feel away, but I don't want to hurt the police pocket. You know, graduate, you know, you know, you know, you know, the day to day about you. Understand and know how hard it is for people to make ends meet, especially when people have family structure. When you have two children and have to deal with two children and both parents have to work and them things are not, not easy. So I don't like one, oh, uh, you know, bring her to her home. But you know, people have to adhere to the rule of law. You can create your own policies because your police friend have a tow truck company and you have a number and speed dial where you just hit him and him just come to my car to some pound and then you get a percentage out of that money when me go off your pay or supposed to a pay. These things are the, you know, conspiracy. You know, the Public Service Commission. Where a man you have a specific business here, yeah, and a one they have a specific business here, yeah, and all of them just work together. And then them bring you inside of them, you know, the legal process. Where them try gain access to your birth bond that was issued from your birth trust. That was created by your birth record, your, ho your hospital birth record. This is what is going on, people. But as we go along, we we'll have show and prove that they did give me a notice of recognizance for $100,000. Where did I get that $100,000 from? I never give them that. This is the very same trick they create. When they come to you, when you say you want to buy a house and you want $5 million loan, all of a sudden, whoops, you get a loan. Where you get it from? It's from your surety, people. It's your money. It's your currency. But there is no real substantive money. It's only negotiable instruments out there. I wonder if the people am I get it. Anyway, we got always are repeated, so eventually you will get it. Again. I'm quite sure the item can find this in any book, King James Version, Exodus 20. And then you're going to Deuteronomy 5. 
And watch me now. And uh, Andrew Holiness now, none of these politicians have said them thing. Them thing here come out of God's mouth. That's what it is written and said. So who can challenge this? Which guy out there can talk to me about law when I man is a commandment keeper? When I man adhere to the laws of God, the most high like creator of nature. Who oh, you? What you deal with? What you follow? Lightning, earthquake, and thunder. Full of bad behavior and full of disorder. Correct yourself out there. Yeah, man, and conduct yourself accordingly. Salute free people. Information share. Hold them out there. Hold them.